Hello everyone. Hi sir. Yesterday we studied how to measure the work done when the force and the displacement are in the same direction. That is when the body moves in the direction of the force applied. In that case work done is equal to F into S. Yeah work done is equal to force into uh, displacement product of force and displacement. But in real life situation it is not necessary that the force always causes the displacement of the body in its own direction. There are many examples and many circumstances. Uh, for example, while we are playing football or cricket, we apply the force in particular direction and the body or the ball is getting displaced in some other direction. In that case, how do you measure the work? What is the formula for that? So let, uh, let us investigate this case with the help of an activity of pulling a toy car. Okay. All right? Yes. All right. Now let's perform the activity. We can see a simple toy car. So I have attached a piece of thread to one end of the toy car and I'm trying to pull this toy car with the help of a thread like this. The toy car moves. All right? The toy car moves. And I'm, I'm applying the force along the thread. You can see the force is being applied along the thread and the toy car moves in some other direction, horizontal direction. All right. See once again, the force is acting along the thread in a particular direction and the car moves horizontally. In this case, the force applied force and the displacement both are in different direction. So in this case, how do you calculate the amount of work done, which formula is applicable. Let's calculate. So I have presented our activity in the form of a diagram. This is the toy car and force applied is acting along the thread like this, along in this direction and the car has a horizontal displacement along like this. All right. And the force and displacement are making an angle theta so the an, an angle theta is being made between the force and the displacement all right so in this case we have we, we can determine the amount of work done by finding the component of force along the displacement so when the force is acting like this according to the resolution of vector force is being a vector quantity the force splits into or, or force uh, resolves into two components. One is horizontal component and other is vertical component of force. Let us try to find out which component of force is effective in uh, causing the displacement of the body. Alright. So I have completed the diagram like this. So AB, AC is the direction of the applied force. AB is the direction of the displacement. Theta is the angle between displacement AB that is equal to S and the applied force. Diagram is clear to you? Alright. So 90 degree. Now ABC is a right angle triangle. So in right angle triangle according to vector resolution, resolution of vector, uh, what is cos theta? You know cos theta is a trigonometrical ratio. Uh, which compare the length of two sides of a right angle triangle. So the cos theta is equal to, we can write, what is the formula for cos theta in trigonometry? Uh, base upon hypotenuse. What is base here? AB upon hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? AC. AC is nothing but it is the force applied. Alright, we need AB. So AB is equal to uh, AC cos theta. AC cos theta. Alright. AC cos theta. AB is equal to AC cos theta. What is AC? F cos theta. AC is equal to F. Alright. Force is acting along AC. So AB is equal to F cos theta. Alright. Okay. Now, work done is equal to force into displacement f into s so what is uh, the force acting here f cos theta so i can write w is equal to f cos theta into what is the displacement s 
f cos theta into s what is f cos theta the component of the force which is in the direction of the displacement so it f cos theta the, you know that the vertical component of the force is ineffective in producing any motion the vertical component this is the vertical component it is ineffective in producing any motion but the horizontal component of the force along ab in the direction of the displacement is effective in producing the motion of the body so we we count the horizontal component of the force all right so what is horizontal component of force f cos theta and what is displacement s so we can write w is equal to f s cos theta so this is the equation for work done when force and displacement are in different direction making an angle theta so in this from this equation very important equation all of you must learn it and remember it it is clear that the work done is equal to the product of magnitude of force magnitude of displacement and the cosine what is this cos theta cosine of angle between the force and the displacement so the work done dip depends upon the force the displacement and the cosine of angle between uh, force and displacement all right this is clear to you w is equal to f s cos theta all right so work done is a scalar quantity work is a what type of quantity it is scalar quantity because force and displacement are vector quantity product of vector quantity is always a scalar quantity so i can write f dot s dot product of two vector quantity is a scalar quantity so vector quantity is always represented by an arrow mark so w is equal to f s all right so this is the an important equations for work done when force and displacement are acting in the uh, different direction all right you got it very good very good okay mathematically the work done can be expressed as f s cos theta where f is the force f cos theta is the component of force s is the displacement and cos theta is the cosine of angle between force and the displacement okay so don't make any uh, mistake while measuring the angle cos theta is the angle between force and displacement uh, to get an idea of its meaning let us consider uh, the some special cases of this equation uh, how the, we can connect this equation uh, in our day to day lives because physics is always associated with the uh, day to day life activities all right the first case when theta is equal to zero what happens when angle is zero that is when the force and the displacement are in the same direction so there is no angle between the force and displacement okay in that case when theta is equal to zero you know that the value of cos zero cos zero is equal to cos zero is equal to one so w is equal to f s uh, cos zero cos zero so w is equal to cos zero value of cos zero is equal to one w is equal to f s product of force and uh, displacement this is the maximum and positive work this is the case of maximum and positive work so remember that when the force and displacement are in the same direction such that theta is equal to 0 the value of cos zero is equal to 1 so w is equal to f this is the case of maximum or positive work all right okay this is when happening in case of a free fall of a body during a free fall during a free fall of the body so when a body is falling under gravity a body of mass uh, m is falling under gravity and it reaches the ground at the point b all right so covering through a distance h so the force of gravity is fully is acting downward what is the force of gravity f is equal to mg the force of gravity is acting downward and the direction of motion the displacement is also along the same direction in this case theta is equal to zero because force and displacement are in the same direction so in that case we can write work done is equal to force into displacement so work done is equal to f is equal to mg all right what is the displacement it displaces through a distance s is equal to h so i can write w is equal to mgh 
This is the case of positive work. This is positive work during a free fall. Work done by the force of gravity is an example of positive work. But when a body revolves in a circular path, what happens when a body is moving in a circular path? For example, when a body is moving in a circular path, it, a body revolves in a circular path, alright, and it's, it is starting from A and it revolves around the path and come back to the uh, initial position. So there is no displacement of the body, alright, here what is the displacement, S is equal to 0, what is the displacement, the distance between or the difference between initial position and final position so it come it came back to the final position displacement is equal to 0 w is equal to fs when s is equal to 0 w is equal to f into 0 you get it as work done is 0 so remember that when a body is moving in a circular path under the influence of a force on completing one round one complete round the work done is always 0 fine now, let us consider if the displacement is normal to the direction of the force. What happens when the displacement is normal to the direction of force? When, for example, when a coolie, a coolie is carrying a heavy load on his head. Second case, when angle between force and displacement is 90 degree all right when theta is equal to zero this is the second case when theta is equal to zero a coolie is carrying a heavy load and he moves uh, he moves in a horizontal direction carrying a load on his head it is said that no work is being done against the force of gravity the force of gravity is acting downward all right and the displacement is along the horizontal direction. This is the force of gravity of is equal to mg. And the displacement. What is this angle? This is 90 degree. Okay. So according to the equation, the force of gravity, there is an angle between the force of gravity and the displacement theta is equal to 90. So in this case, I can write W is equal to Fs cos theta. So W is equal to F into S cos theta cos 90 cos 90 what is the value of cos 90 so cos 90 being 0 the value of cos 90 remember that the value of cos 90 is equal to 0 so w is equal to f into 0 we got it as work done is equal to 0 so when a coolie, coolie carrying a coolie or a porter carrying a heavy load on his head and works horizontally work done is 0 all right okay Another example we can consider when theta is equal to 0, when the uh, angle between force and displacement is 90 degree, when a body moves in a circular path in a horizontal plane, for example, uh, the, uh, the uh, motion of the planet around the sun in a circular path. This is the sun, the planet is moving, okay, the displacement is like this along the tangent and the force of gravity act along like this the force of gravity provided by the sun which provides the necessary centripetal force what is the angle between the force and the displacement it's always 90 degree you can see in this case the work done by the planet in moving around the sun is equal to w is equal to fs cos theta where cos 90 theta is equal to 90 degree we can write w into uh, S into 0 that is equal to 0 because cos theta is equal to 0 W is equal to 0 alright ok so this is the case uh, of work done uh, when a planet or any other uh, or even the moon revolving around the uh, revolving around the earth in a circular path got the idea ok so according to the equation W is equal to Fs cos theta the nature of work done depends upon the value of cos theta. When theta is equal to 0, that is when the angle between the force and displacement is 0, both are in the same direction, 
work done is maximum and positive so positive work is done when force and displacement are in the same direction now when theta is equal to 90 degree when the force and the displacement are normal to each other work done is zero and minimum so in this case the work done is minimum when theta is equal to 90 degree when theta is equal to zero work done is positive and maximum remember this case this is the case when work done is zero for example when a satellite moving around the planet or earth the work done will be zero it will be minimum what about when theta is equal to 180 degree when the theta can be 180 degree if the displacement is in a direction opposite to that of the force the displacement and the force are in opposite direction the theta can be 180 degree this is the case when uh, a body is moving on a surface and the force of friction uh, opposes the body uh, in motion let us consider the case for example a, bo a ball roll rolling on the ground and it is being displaced in this direction and the force of friction is acting in the opposite direction all right the force of friction what is the nature of the force of friction it always opposes the motion and what is the angle between the force of friction and the displacement here i can obviously say it is 180 degree so what is the work done by the force of friction here work done is equal to force in fs cos theta so what is the value of cos theta here cos 180 what is the value of cos 180 remember it is minus 1 so w is equal to i can write f into s into cos minus 1 cos theta cos cos 180 is minus 1 so w is equal to minus f into s this is the case where the work done is negative work done by the force of friction is always negative all right so these are the three cases uh, of special cases of work done in our day to day life situation depending upon the value of theta it can be maximum positive or it can be minimum and zero or it can be negative so minus work is not the minimum work remember that so when the theta is equal to 90 degree the work done is minimum this is minus work the work done is negative all right so these three cases are very important for the board examination point of view uh, question can be asked from this section all right there are some uh, let us try to attempt uh, some questions related to this topic uh, a body is acted upon by a force state two condition when the work done is zero the body is acted upon by a force can you suggest what are the two condition for the work done to be a zero for the work done to be zero either the displacement should be zero or theta should be 90 degree so for the work done to be zero what are the two condition either the displacement should be zero or the theta the angle between the force and displacement should be 90 degree all right so simple when a body moves in a circular path how much work is done by the body give reason so when a body is moving in a circular path how much work is done the work done is always zero when a body moves in a circular path all right when a body is moving in a circular path the work done this is the displacement and this is the force the angle is always theta is equal to 90 degree so w is equal to zero okay the work done is equal to zero because displacement and force are uh, normal to each other theta is equal to 90 degree why because the force is we can say that the force is normal to the displacement as simple as that another question is satellite revolves around the earth in a circular orbit what is the work done by the satellite give reason same case the satellite moving around the earth in a circular orbit all right and the centripetal force is acting directed towards the center of circular path and the displacement is along the tangent and the angle between the displacement and force is 90 degree so work done will be zero okay so these are the simple questions that can be asked for the board examinations so focus on these three special cases of work done you got the point fine thank you for thank you very much for watching